Hi everyone, it's Sunday the 4th of July and it's 9 o'clock in the evening. In this video we're going to be looking at some vintage 00 gauge uh, model railway stuff that I've uh, picked up this weekend actually. I picked this up yesterday and some locomotives that are in this bag today. Actually this evening on my way back from Mum's I picked these up and the chap I got all this from has actually got some more um, He's going to be taking a lot to the car boot next weekend, weather permitting, obviously. Um, but uh, he's got some diesels there that I'm interested in, and I can... He said all I've got to do is drop him a message during the week or whatever, and uh, I can go and have another look. Anyway, first up is this Triang set, which I've got the lid for. It's got a chunk missing out of it, just a little chunk about that big, off the end. Um, but other than that, it's in good condition. There was no track. I have got the bit, the insert that goes in there. Um, these were here. There was some track, but it was the incorrect track. It was Hornby track. Um, Hornby R600, actually. Um, however, I was looking on eBay and I was actually surprised at how cheap Triang track actually is. Um, so I bought a load. So I can actually run some of my trying stuff. I could set up a little loop on the floor in here or something, that's all. Because um, I wouldn't mind getting hold of some more of these old sets. I like old stuff. <laughs> and uh, this is sort of spark getting this set sparked an interest in this sort of era of stuff now. Um, anywho, the locomotive itself, the uh, Princess Elizabeth, wasn't working. It is now. I've got got her serviced. She is running. Um, considering her age, she's actually in um, good condition. Good condition and good work in order. Uh, there's one main issue, and that was a, a short. Uh, these triangle controllers. Even this one's got it. Little red button on here. I didn't use this controller. I've got another one which I think was on the floor. Yeah. But that's got a little red button on it as well, and what that does, that trips out if you get an overload or a short circuit. And that's what this was doing, it was um, causing the, my other controller to um, trip the little red button. Um, it was ever so easy to find, it was actually a problem with the um, little spring clip that holds the brushes in place on the motor, plus the um, one of the wires. Um, what happened? on that little spring clippy thing one side is insulated with like a insulating sleeve that basically just got a bit worn and was causing it to short out so I just pulled it off and used a bit of heat shrink to fix that and then one of the wires came off because it's got a little suppressor cap in there for um, to reduce interference because back then things like this interfered with TVs and whatnot, so they used to stick a capacitor on them to reduce that. Um, I think this is actually my only vintage loco that's still got that intact. I, I left that on there. But one of the wires came unstuck, it broke off just from age and just from me playing in there, so I had to solder that back on. Cleaned the wheels, gave it some oil, but because I haven't got a loop of track, I was actually just running it up and down on a straight piece of track that I set up on here. I really need a loop to give it a good run. It hasn't had one. Um, so yeah, it is basically a complete set minus the track. Um, it's a little bit worn there. The um, transfers literally just come off my hand actually. Well, I've got some more of these coaches in the other room. Actually, I even think I've got the same stock number on them. So they may have came from a set like this originally. Old Triang. I've actually got several of this type of coach. I'm going to send some off to uh, a YouTuber I know. I'm not sure what you're meant to do with this controller. The base has come unstuck. Two rivets have come out there, but that's easy enough to fix. There's a couple of ways you could fix that. You could glue it back on, or 
could get a couple of rivets to put back in there. So apparently this took like a battery pack or something that connected in here. And I presume these wires went out to your track. I'm not sure, I've never seen a little controller like this. It's made in England. I wonder if that's Bakelite. No. Wouldn't mind betting that's Bakelite, you know. Tuck that back in there, we'll get this out of the way. I didn't just want to, you know, show off what I've got. I wanted to um, test and try and get what's in this bag to run if nothing runs. It's just sold as is. Um, but the chap I got these from, he's got a whole bunch that he wants to sell. He's taken all sorts of stuff. He's got a lot of um, nice large steam. In fact, he's got an Airfix one, which I've already got. He's got a couple that I've already got, actually. He's got a Flying Scotsman. And I've already got one of those, so I'm not really interested. I'm not really interested in steam. I've got quite a few uh, um, nice steams. I'll have a think about it. I will go back during the week and have a look. He really wants 20 quid a pot for them because they're untested. Right, I'm going to give this. I shouldn't need much of a clean, but I'll give it a quick rub down. Right. I do need a couple of things which I need to go and get, and I need to rearrange you as well. Try and get you in a bit closer. So I'll move that out of the way. Two seconds. Well, it was a bit longer than two seconds for me, but I'm back. Q-tips. I forgot to go and get those. I've got my oil on the desk here. A few other bits and bobs just in case I need them. And most of all, I need the controller back, which my uh, wheel of my chair is currently sat on. Oh. Right, here's the controller I use for my uh, testing, basically. This is just an easy quick grab sort of control. I don't use it on the layout because I've got the, uh, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head now. Right, I'm going to turn that on just yet. And I've got this wire made up. It's just basically an old bit of speaker wire with a couple of uh, crocodile clips on the end. So I can literally just go boop and boop. And I just wire up on it. Controlled outlet, it's got controlled outlet, it's got an uncontrolled outlet, for both up to 12 volt. And a 15 volt AC output, I'm not sure what you would use that for. If anyone knows what you might use the 15 volt AC output for, let me know in the comments. Oh. That is one thing we do not want to do, so I'm going to drape the cable around the other way. There's one more thing that I'm going to need. Well, I can get that when I need it because it's just down here, and that's the uh, IPA. Right. In fact, that's in the off position, so I can go ahead and turn it on up here. Um, I'll try and bring you in a bit closer. I'll try not to knock the uh, tripod, and I'll try and keep uh, as much of these out of the way as possible. Right. So I've got six small locos in there. Most of them are 040s, but there's a couple of 060s in here as well. Um, but you only want 50 quid for all of them, so I've got this nice little LNER, which I'm sure I've already got one of. I've got another Ginty. That one's a Triang Ginty, not a later one. Mm. I'm glad I'm getting some Triang trap now. There's a few other bits I need to um, order while I'm on eBay as well. Um, I've got one in blue, but I can't remember if mine's got C and R written on it. Got a bit of um, glue or something all over it there. Be interesting to know if they're going to work when I put them straight on the train. Right, what else have we got? We've got three red ones in here. So we've got the Santa Express. Another, uh, just a Typical standard Hornby 040. 
what all these are really. What's this one? Uh, the Queen Mary. That was one actually for some reason piqued my interest when I was looking at the photos on Marketplace. And the last one, I can get the bag out of the way, is this one which is celebrating... I'll make the fine glass at hand. It is... Just bear with me a second. It's on the floor. I've still got to crack the ribs to so try to reach. It's not good. Um, that is celebrating... Centenary year of Hornby, 100. Ah, so it's celebrating 100 years of Hornby then, I believe. There is something else written on there, and even with this I can't read it. Right, let's line these up there. I've got a little screwdriver up here as well, because I need to take any of the bodies off to give my service. Let's start, because I actually quite like this one, with the Queen Mary. Place your bets. Will she go, or will she not? Oh my god. She's a little bit jerky, but I don't want to put the power right up. Look at that. That was either a dirty spot on the wheel or a dirty spot on the track. She works. I might just go over the wheels in a bit with the IPA just to give them a clean. Oh, hello. These two have got hold of each other already. There we go. What's that one? That's the Santa Express. Three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh. That's actually working really well. I don't know how well the uh, Triang Jinty is going to work on this track. I might have to get the uh, track that came in that box, because although it's Hornby, the other Triang Loco, the uh, Princess Elizabeth, actually ran that quite well. Okay, so we'll put the 100 year celebration thingy one on here. Ooh. To be fair though, these at low 4 O's are pretty much bulletproof. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that, and in my own experience, yep, they are. They're pretty darn bulletproof. I haven't had to do anything with these, have I? Oh, I found a dead one. No. I don't think that one's quite gauged, to be honest. Well, we've not got a short, because my little red button hasn't tripped out. So that's good. That could be dirty wheels, there could be a connection in there, so we've got one to take apart when I can find the screw. Made in Great Britain. It's let the side down, I was praising how good these 040s are. Funny enough, one of my other blue ones is playing up as well. <laughs> it must just be the blue ones that um, aren't liked. Yeah, can you hear that? That's the uh, wheel flanges hitting the uh, sleepers. I don't think that's going to... No. No, that's actually shorted out as well. That one's got a short problem. That just tripped me button. One thing I have learned is to look up between these wheels because I've had a loco. A little 08 diesel. I think I did a video on it actually. I'm talking about this where some track nails got stuck up there and was causing a short. Um, I will have to get the other track out for that then. Might have to with this, I'm not sure. It made noise. That one wants to. It doesn't sound very happy though. <laughs> oh no, that really does not sound very happy. Right. So I think I'm going to start with this one. Um, I might remember how you take the bodies off. Ah, it's in the side there. So 
got the same with this jimmy. No, I was, I'm pretty certain with my other jimmy, which I think is actually a Hornby one, screws in the side there. I know I've got an, at least one black 060 that's got a screw in the uh, side, so we'll take this out. Like so. And, in theory, it should move it off. And there we go, right off the bat, and there'll be a fluff stuck in there. Let me zoom in a bit. How's that? Is that better? Now you can actually see what I'm actually uh, pointing at. Oh, and I can actually show you what the issue was on the um, Princess Elizabeth in that set. So you've got that little bit of uh, insulating tubing there on that side of the spring clip. That had pretty much uh, deteriorated right by the brush and was causing a short. Right, got a little suppress suppression cap on there. Okay, you get the um, <coughs> felt pads are dry as a bone. Get me a boiler. Um, where's my little cap? I don't know where my lid's gone. I've still got the red cap, thankfully, but I don't know where the lid's gone. Before. Might still be in my bits drawer. Right. I've actually uh, invested in a nice big bottle of 99.9% uh, IPA. I was then looking for the lid to put back on here. Dum dum. up there and just hope I don't uh, knock it over. Right, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. That's better and I'll put that over there so I don't knock it. Wow, you can actually watch it evaporate. Cool. Anyway, it's like one of those um, distraction beams in there. Oh look, a squirrel. Oh look, it's evaporating. <laughs> Whoop! I didn't want that one anyway. There we go. I have got a foam cradle that you can sit your locos in um, to do this sort of thing, but I can't find it at the minute. It's somewhere underneath the um, desk where the railway is. Doesn't really matter though. It makes life a bit easier, but I bet that was about 90% of the problem right there. Also found if you're gonna clean your wheels, take your body off so you can actually get to this side. Makes life easier as well. The body covers up that half. Oh, I've just gone over that again. Let's see that. I've gone over it twice. Something tells me this has been stored for quite some time. It's a good job Q-tips are cheap, isn't it? Because you can get through a lot of these. It doesn't help when certain film crews throw your box on them out. I don't know why they did that, but then well. They replaced them, though, at least. Well, I can't complain too much, then, can I? Anyway, going back to the subject of car boots, um, I do apologise for the piss poor angle. <laughs> this is why I don't like doing anything at the desk, but I just wanted to make a video, so... Yeah, anyway, going back to the subject of car boots, weather permitting this weekend, me and Mum are going to go and uh, hopefully set up a stall. But because of Covid and whatnot, they've um, restricted the number of sellers you know that can go on site because uh they've spaced everything out so 
whereas before you'd have your row and you'd have stalls both sides of your row most of the rows now are only single sided you've only got sellers on one side uh, just reduce the number a bit but uh, yeah the chap I got this lot from is often there as well selling in fact last time I went I did get some die casts from him oh that wheel was filthy that might be yeah I think this is more like 95% of the issue It'd be nice to actually do a stall to sell because we've got a big box of die cast cars there that I've sorted out. I don't think I've got any railway stuff. I haven't really got anything, you know, extra. But with the die cast, I've bought so many over the past few months, especially in job lots. I've been buying them on eBay and whatnot. And the problem is when you do that, you end up with like half a dozen of the same model <laughs> it's the only disadvantage with buying in job lot um, it's not too bad though because there's certain ones I want to do like custom paint jobs on and custom restos on so I've kept those well funny feeling just doing this alone with the wheels this will uh, Run quite nice. I suppose I could sell this one because, like I said, I've got one already. This was just a job lot of them again, you know. I've already got a Ginty as well, actually. Not as old as that one, though. But I'm not sure I, that would qualify as a being different. I think I'll have a look at that blue one next. Can't really do anything with the Ginty on this track. It's all to do with the flanges. They're a lot deeper than that old um, Triang, because Triang had their own track. So this one, I'm pretty certain, would be pre-Hornby, before Hornby uh, took over Triang. I'm looking at the couplers, yeah. It hasn't actually got Triang written on the base. Oh, actually, yes, it has. It's got it on the body. But, uh, you can tell from the couplers they're trying couplers. It's still nice. My other one's got a little box in the front that um, is meant to smoke when you put oil on it, but I don't think the element is present on that one. Right. Should give this another whirly gig. That's a good old three pole motor from the looks of it. It's, it's getting there. I do have to crank this dial quite far around though to get it. Until it stops like that, it's actually got quite a good call on it. And it just stops. It's getting there the more I run it. What I might do is clear one of my diesels off the layout and uh, send this one round later. But, uh, yeah, she's working. I think a bit more cleaning on the wheels is, uh, you know, some more fluff coming out of it there. Don't tell me someone's had a layout on the carpet with this. Right, anyway. Let's get the body back on. I don't think I really need to bother with anything else in there. It seems to be working all right. Screws just fell out the side, and that's going to be a brass screw, so it's not magnetic. It's going to be arse. I'm working on something old like this. Now, can I get the screw to go in the owl? Because I don't think I've got my tweezers in here either. Because I'm not that smart. This is why I want to get a proper desk set up so all the tools are there. I don't have to keep going to the bedroom. Let's go and get the blasted things to get set up on here, you know. I'd have everything there. The only thing I'd have to set up would be the camera. 
but I've got to do something with the corner of the lounge. I might have to go and uh, concede defeat and go and get the... Uh, oh, no, just as I say that, get the screw in. I was going to say, I was going to have to concede defeat and go and get the uh, tweezers. There we go, it's quite nice looking like a mood actually. LNER 8477. I wonder if the running number is the same on my other one. Right. I've got to remember how you get the body off of these 04 rows. I can't remember. I think they just unclip. Yeah, I've got them. Yeah, the back end will come off. Quite a nice detailed uh, smoke box, I never noticed that on me. Oh, wiggle off. Off you come. There we go. I must got one of these motors in it. Again, I'm going to clean the wheels up first. Let's start with the, uh, the easy thing. Because it could just be filthy wheels. We're about to find out. I didn't really need to take the body off because it didn't reveal much. They're not bad, or at least that one wasn't too bad. But I'm thinking if this is completely dead... That connecting rod's not supposed to be there. That's not going to help Maz. Has that come off? Did that actually jam everything up? I think it may have because I can't get it back. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, it's a die cast chassis. Cool. I'm just wondering now if that got stuck. It's not happy. <laughs> Some weird look, and that die cast has gone on that corner. All right, let's uh, let's finish cleaning the wheels. I'll try and keep the con rods in there out of the way. It doesn't take a lot of dirt to uh, affect it. Yeah. That one was a bit grubby. How are we cooking now? There's a lot of sparklage coming from in there. Um, to be honest, I don't think these. Uh, I don't think this is gauged right. To be honest, well, I did have life in it. I've got no life in it now. Gauge. I think it's too narrow, personally. That's my theory, and it's not making a good connection. Although, there is still some crap coming off this wheel here. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Two secs, we can get my uh, oil gauge to it. I'm just going to 
here. Uh... Ooh, no, that that is actually way too narrow. Don't know if that's actually spread them or not. But they are way too narrow. Playing there now. I'm guessing that was part of the problem. Come here, you bugger, get back on there. Right. Firstly, we'll put our chassis piece back on. Did this just drop in then? It appears it does. Oh. Oh. No. It's not on the back. Stops. Don't. I don't know why it stopped. That bloody bit there. Wait. Forgot I left a dial turned up. Still need a bit of a service, but it's a bit jerky going backwards. If I'm going forwards. Yeah. I can see what it is. It's the Conrods, look. It's catching right there. That's what the problem is. This one is actually catching right in there. And I've spaced them out again, so I guarantee if I don't put this back on the track, she'll now run. And she will do that until M. Conrod's um, Why is it working better in both directions when I face it that way than when it was the other way? But it does work, as long as them con rods uh, don't jam up again. That's the issue with that. Other than that, that's actually working really, really well. Now, the old Jinty. Why was you causing a short? Pickups are looking okay. Ah, it's one of these, it's got to take the screw out of the chimney. I'm sure I've got another genty like this, why don't I take the screw out of the chimney? Hell, much longer than I thought it was. There we go. Right, we're in. And that's got the exact same capacitor on it as my um, Princess Elizabeth. Same colour wires as, as well, actually. Same kind of, exact same setup.
What are the chances of that short being the exact same issue with this bit in here? Because there's like a brass tube in there that this wire is soldered onto and is then pushed over this. So, what are the chances that uh, insulation is broken down on the end there and causing our problem? I don't know though. Oh, that might have been all right. Right. Uh, I'm just going to go and get the old track. So get rid of that. Well, let's disconnect it. I'll get rid of this uh, paste track. We don't need it. I'm going to get the other bits. This is what actually came with that train set. This is older um, Hornby track. Don't worry, I have cleaned it up. I think this is steel track as well. Apart from that bit because I didn't use it. <laughs> right. I'm going to make us. I made quite a length of this when I was playing with the uh, Princess Elizabeth. I keep wanting to call it the Queen Elizabeth for obvious reasons. I think for testing purposes, I'm going to do that. Power on the rails on the end here. What I want to do is find some insulated crocodile clips so there's less risk of those clacking together and Causing a bloody short. Should run marginally better on this at least. Right. See the motor, the motor, the motor. The motor do something then. I am seeing some sparks, but you know what? I haven't done. I haven't cleaned the wheels, have I? Right. So we'll do that first. Do the obvious first, dummy. Yeah, they're um, just a little bit dirty. The video is going on for a bit longer than I was actually thinking, but I thought this would be quite easy. Well, it has been easy. But I'm enjoying it anyway, so... So glad I have a bin bag hanging there now. I wonder if it would be better if I could set a camera up somewhere to one side because I keep forgetting that when I go over here you can't really see a lot, can you? You can't see a lot here actually. <laughs> um, roll on the day when I get a proper bench set up. Did you hear that? 
motor twitches, but it clicks the button straight away. So there's still a short here somewhere. Um, the question is, where? Is it possible that that's gone a bit there? Uh, did have around here somewhere. A tub of heat shrink. Yeah, a little bit of heat shrink. This is what I did on the uh, Princess Elizabeth. Got a thin bit of a uh, heaty shrink. Cut it to size. Stuck it on. No, it's still a short there. It's just done it again. So it wasn't that. Um, Touch that capacitor leg on the live and that went ping. Uh, I got a torch here somewhere. I did have. Let me see if I can see. There's nothing obvious. means it could be shorting through the chassis. Shall we? I'll just disconnect from here. And then we go to no, Nope. Straight off. Hmm. So it's not this. That's also the point where I had to uh Soldered the wires, oh shit, way off camera. Duh. Right there's where I had to solder it on the Princess Elizabeth. But typically, try to fix one thing and another thing breaks. I have got this bad feeling that we've got an issue between the wheels and the chassis. Although I can't see how, because I just realised there's like insulating plates either side here. Unless it's shorting through the wheels. I haven't got a multimeter at hand to um, check that. I am, however, just in case it was there. Okay, no, well, it wasn't that. <laughs> It's not going to be a quick fix, and it may not be an easy fix either. Hmm. 
Yeah, this one's going to require some uh, further investigating, I think. Um, let's get this back on. No, it's not this, so I might as well stick this all back together as it should be. Uh, can't be asked to cut the wire down, so I just wrap it around the bloody screw. You know what? I can, so... Just trim that down. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, I dig into this. I don't think there's any insulation damaged there. There's some black on the um, insulation, but that could just be soot from the uh, motor, because it's right near that brush, so it could just be some dust from that. But, uh, yeah, I'm not actually seeing anything it could possibly be, possibly be, rather. I think what is happening... Because obviously these wheels have got to be insulated from those wheels. I've got a feeling what's happening is that the insulation between them somewhere has broken down and is causing a short. I don't know if you can take the wheels off of this, and I haven't got a spare wheel set anyway. So this one might just be relegated to being a, a static model, because <laughs> I can't do a lot with it, I don't think. I'll have a go at it another day. I'm just going to put it back together for now, if I can get the body back on. But you know... Five out of six, that isn't bad. To be honest, I think these jinties are just a, gen a general pain in the ass because I've got another two of them there, a pain in my ass and all. <laughs> I'm not kidding. One of them just seems to uh, work as and when it feels like it wants to work. If it doesn't feel like working, it won't work. <laughs> side then. If we get tube, I'll have a look at that tomorrow. Hmm. I was going to say, what's my favourite out of these? Uh, I don't think I actually have one. That one would be my least favourite. She quite liked the uh, Queen Mary, to be honest. I know that's more of a toy rather than a, you know, something you want to whiz around your layout. A proper modeler's layout, that is. Um, but I still like it. Whoa. old, it's dirty. I'm glad when my uh, train track arrives. That will help with the uh, repair of that other... What have I done with it? What have I done with the Ginny? Let me see. That will help with that. I mean, the train wheels are better on this older Hornby track, but marginally. Set of old points as well. Well, they're spring loaded points too. At least they're springing. Let's put that lot in there. Right, tip the excess of that back in the bottle. And I think. 
recording it for the video. I'll uh, I'll do another video as and when I get uh, any more locomotives because I am I'm uh, really tempted to go and get at least two of the four four diesels, five diesel locomotives that he's got. Maybe one or two of the um, steam locos. I don't know. Like you said, he said he's not putting them up on um, Facebook Marketplace. He's going to take them to the car boot anyway. So um, I don't really want to uh, wait until we go at the car boot because uh, that could be called off anyway because of the weather. You never know. The weather's been anyway. Thanks a lot for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you again in the next one. Bye!